What's the word ladies and gentlemen? Well today's video is going to be another tips and tricks video but this time we're going to be taking things quite a bit less seriously so these will be like three utterly useless tips and tricks for Dirty Bomb or that don't really offer any sort of value. More of, I don't know, three interesting pointless things you could do in Dirty Bomb? I don't know. So, if you're looking for actual tips, I would say skip this one and check out some of my other ones. I'll go ahead and link them in the description. Anyways, if you guys are still with me, without further ado, let's just get right into this atrocity of a video. So, for number one, I'll start us off with something pretty easy, and maybe a lot of you already know about this, but if you spam C, the, the button C for crouch, to teabag someone, It'll actually trigger the taunt for your character, and uh, I'll just stop talking here so you can see what I mean. Oh yeah. And I guess if you're really into Japanese stuff, if you're playing Kira and you hit V57 in that order, you'll actually trigger the Kawaii taunt if you're into that kind of stuff. Now, if that one was a little too obvious, I got more. So for number two, you can actually get to level negative one. Sadly, it doesn't stick to you uh, beyond a match, but essentially, you just have to get a negative score, um, usually by suicides. I think that's the easiest, if not the only way to do it. And uh, check out the screenshot here. Bam! There you have it, guys. Negative level. Pretty impressive. Alrighty, so I saved the best for last. Coming in at number three... Um, for Bushwhacker's turret, if you place it just right, you can actually trap someone right into it so like they can't move at all. The placement is kind of tricky and a lot of it comes down to luck, but it basically seems like there's a spot if you land it just right in the middle of someone, they won't be able to get out. I mean, sure, they can melee and stuff. I've actually been able to do this in live matches, but here you can see Repsy and I actually testing it. Luckily for him, the turret will not attack him, so I'm assuming, you know, it will just hold the target in place and uh, again he can get out with a melee swipe now I'm thinking of doing like a montage uh, of this me like just sneaking up on people and like freaking trapping them in a turret and then shooting them but you know let me know what you guys think I think that'd be quite hilarious anyways if you found this video interesting please be sure to throw down a like and if this is the first video you are seeing god forbid I hope this isn't please be sure to check out some of my other videos as um, they are mostly more generally more useful and informative you know i've definitely had fun putting this one together but this is definitely not an actual tips and tricks video with all that said and done i think this is it for now and until next time i hope to see you in the next episode